Hi there, YouTube. It's Netherworld here. Okay, as you can see, it's 9.35. Okay. Right, I'm in the clock there. Okay. There, sorry. Right, now, today, we actually have a comparison of two legendary phones. The Apple iPhone first gen. Okay made its name when it was one of the most revolutionary mobile communication devices of its time. That's now. Um, it was the first iPhone out. It uh, sold like hotcakes and it's fully touch screen and it's basically made by Apple which is a uh, well-known computer maker. Okay, so revolutionary. And the second one, the O2 XDA Executive. This one made its name as a mobile communications slash mini laptop, uh, especially good for uh, business users. Okay? They have actually stopped making this now. You can buy it off eBay, however. When they were making it, you could only buy it on pay. Uh, you could only buy it on contract, but it does work for pay-as-you-go since. I bought this off eBay you know, a little while ago. A couple of you see my unboxing videos and things. I've got it on pay as you go because it's off eBay. Um, O2 won't actually give you pay and go settings for it, so you have to find those off the internet, like I did. I've actually uh, made a video on uh, about those settings with those settings in. So if you're interested, please check out my YouTube channel by clicking on the name of um, my. Um, YouTube channel, my, the name of the YouTube channel, iPhone Tech for You. But our website, Mega World. So that's why I say Mega World. So I'm click on that and it's in the channel. Okay? So the first comparison is power on and off speeds. So as they're both switched on, we're going to do off speed first. So that's switched on. As is The iPhone. So, the XDA executive here has no actual proper way of turning it off. So the only way you can do it, well you can turn it in standby but not fully off. But the way that you do it is you have to take the battery out and then put it back in. Okay? So we'll start by turning this off. Okay, so that's shutting down. And now to take the battery out of this. down, iPhone is still shutting down. So, it's quicker to turn off the XDA executive, but only by a few seconds. Well, of course, it also depends on how good you are at taking the back down and taking the back cover off, which can be rather fiddly on the XDA. Okay? So now, let's try boot up speed. Okay? Both switched off. So, power buttons. Yeah, they're both booting. Now the XDA is mowed by O2, so it says O2. But that will change to Windows Mobile in a minute. Now this iPhone, uh, like it has there. Okay. The uh, This iPhone is on 3.0 firmware, so for some reason it will go to a black screen before it fully has booted up. Okay. The iPhone is just a black screen. It is still the screen is still on. Just rather dim. Okay, now the XDA backlight's just gone off, but if I tap it, it comes back on. iPhone still on a lit up screen. It's still illuminated. You can't see it very well, but trust me, it is. Windows Mobile has actually booted, as you can see there. And the iPhone has now booted as well. So, XDA, ever so slightly quicker at that too. Now, web browsing speeds over Wi-Fi. 
so we've got them both connected to the same Wi-Fi network okay we're going to start these both of these phones on uh, the same website that's google.co.uk okay we'll just get that up on both of these now the iPhone uses Safari whereas Windows Mobile uses Internet Explorer now one of the good things about the iPhone is it actually has the ability to add new tabs and as far as I know yeah there is actually no really real way of actually doing that on the in, on the XDA now the XDA does have background support so that is rather handy for things like instant messaging and other things okay so the both in Safari, no, that's sorry, iPhone's in Safari, google.co.uk, and the XDA is on google.co.uk. Okay, so I'm going to type in a web address on both of these, and that web address is going to be www.aol.co.uk.com, should I say, uh, slash email okay so i don't know if you can see but i have typed that in at the top there okay i'll type this in here okay type that in there as well okay so i'm going to press go and enter and leave at the same time and they're both loading and it appears that this has actually done that and then this has loaded the iPhone version of AOL um, the mobile version of AOL ever so slightly slower than this loaded okay right so over Wi-Fi both are just slightly quicker now I am not actually going to test them via mobile internet because this only has GPS and WAP and this only has Edge and GPS so it's not going to be really that fair to do that okay um, but I can tell you that when I have used the web browser on mobile it does actually uh, load ever so slightly about one second quicker on the XBA. Okay? Right? So that's web browsing capability. The next thing is ease of use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load an application on here and see how long it takes me compared to how long it takes me to do it on here. So let's load up say let me have a look what programs have I got on both that I can use yeah let's see how long it would take me to go through the menus to get into Skype now Skype on the iPhone is on a different page sorry uh, iPhone is on a different page different than the set on a, another home screen page not the first one so okay, on here now just click start okay and I click programs okay then I scroll down until I find the one that says Skype which isn't there because it's in my start list so there you go and I'm in Skype okay Skype's loading okay and on the iPhone I slide across and across and select it and it's loading so it is slightly quicker to do it on the iPhone instead of going into programs on the um, XDA but if you put it in the start menu like I have it is just as quick on the XDA as it is on the iPhone ok next we're going to do sound quality but that's in part 2 because I'm about to run out of time on this video see you in part 2